Okay, where do I begin on this? Um, it's no small secret that I love comic books, I love superheroes, uh, I love pop culture, I, lo I love the whole geek culture thing, you know, I, uh, I have a, quite a few comic books of my own, but I'll be honest with you, there was a time uh, f a few years ago where I just kind of got comic book fatigue, you know, we got all the comic book movies and TV shows, why do I need to read the comic books, and, uh, so, but anyways, I, so there was this fatigue, and I found Diversity in Comics channel on YouTube uh, sometime last year, shortly after uh, its origination, and I became fascinated because it was a it was a type of commentary on comic books that I hadn't heard before. Here was a guy that knew the history of the characters, that knew the technical aspects, the the art styles, the, the authors, the artists, the inkers, the letterers, those that are in the administrative fields of the major studios. This is a guy that was articulate and really knew his stuff. And so I, I was really fascinated. What further fascinated me uh, was to see his channel grow like... He's a very natural character. He just reviews comic books, roasts them, you know, roasts the bad ones, and uh, occasionally, you know, uh, talks about upcoming projects where things that he is working on. And he has two very successful Indiegogo campaigns. His first, Jawbreakers, which is really ironic, which is really weird that Jim Jeffries didn't even mention that at all. Didn't mention the fact that, oh, hey, uh, Richard C. Meyer is a uh, successful comic book author. No, 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 no. No one said it's, oh, uh, this spooky guy online uh, just makes these creepy YouTube videos where he targets and harasses women. It, It's just ridiculous. I mean, if you watch this, diversity in comics makes bigots mad. What? No. No, 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 no. I mean, look, okay, you see this panel on this thumbnail? Richard C. Meyer isn't in it. No, he's interviewed, selectively edited. His answers are made to make him look bad. If you watch Diversity in Comics channel, you know his opinions on things. and you, So it's just really freaking clear that Jim Jeffries is punching down on Richard C. Meyer. I mean, he has this... He has a very popular... I mean, I'm guessing fairly popular show. He must be fairly popular. I mean, he's he's on Comedy Central. That's, that's, a, that's a big network. And uh, it seems like Jim Jeffries used to be really funny. I've never really followed him, but I, I've heard from others that... He used to be hilarious, and now all he is is political, and uh, that's you know not really that fun. People are kind of want an escape, you know. And comic books used to be that one of those escapes, and now it's just everybody just injects their hatred, their anger, their animosity, and it just seems like as a society, we just find ways to like poke each other find ways to provoke and antagonize each other and you know maybe diversity in comics pokes sure sure yeah but I think it's time like we start listening to folks that we would normally just brush aside yeah, and I know I'm not talking about Nazis I'm not talking about terrorists I'm not talking about white supremacists I'm talking about if people have a legitimate concern about something, stop stop telling them you know, stop gaslighting them, stop trying to act like, oh you're crazy. You it's all uh, it's it's all fake, it's all made up. You know, I've as I mentioned, Diversity in Comics is a very articulate and knowledgeable guy. He makes really well reasoned, you know, points. And there are others within the comics gate community, those that want a return to good quality writing and, and artwork and comic books. 
there's no movement in comics gate to remove diversity to have all white characters i mean there are minorities in the comics gate community at, that are very prominent members of the comics gate community anyways we all just want fun comic books and we want diversity to occur naturally to to fit whatever the story that is being told again if you have followed diversity in comics channel for any length of time you know that there are things diverse things that he really appreciates the 90s era x-men with storm being the leader is one of his favorite eras of x-men a comic book from dc comics that he really pushed hard he really recommended was silencer which features a a an african-american or black uh, protagonist who's an assassin and guess what i picked up those issues based on those recommendations he has a graphic novel that he has written called jawbreakers has minority characters if you just spend any length of time with the comic skate community you realize oh they don't have a problem with diversity they just don't like bad writing they don't like the treatment of minority characters as stereotypes for all the talk of folks in the comic book industry, in the media, and they're like, "Oh, we're the we're the, we have the moral high ground because we like diversity." No, 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 no. You don't have the moral high ground because you know what? You treat diverse characters as props. You take black characters, you take gay characters, you take transgender characters, you take these minority characters. You strip them of any nuance, anything that would make them three-dimensional, and then you're like, okay, how can I uh, make them fit whatever narrative that I want? You know, how can I make them my political billboard? And that's disgusting. That is really the anti-diversity movement, and it's happening in comic books right now. And that's why you need to go check out Diversity in Comics on YouTube, watch his videos. He is a hilarious, intelligent, awesome guy, and uh, I wish nothing but the best for him. I'm glad that I found his channel early to mid last year. I want to follow him to you know to the ends of the earth, to the end uh, of his channel for whatever comes next. And the same goes with Doug Ernst, uh, Timothy Lim, Ethan Van Skyver, uh, just some guy really quality content creators uh the brightweisers um uh nasir um there are a lot of folks and i'm i'm just amazed at the level of creativity i'm jealous at the the um, the, the content that they create and jim jeffries does a disservice to the comic skate community by taking one of our founding members, you know, one of, uh, you know, he didn't, Diversity in Comics didn't create Comicsgate. He's not our leader, but he is a prominent figure. And to selectively edit his responses, to try to paint him as something that he is not, it, it's, it's, it's a di disservice to him. Uh, it's a disservice to the comic book industry. And most of all, to the dialogue, the the conversation that we need to have. I think people on all sides, whether you're an SJW, whether you're a leftist, whether you're a Trump supporter, whether you're a moderate, whether you're like, I don't give an F about politics. We all need to have a conversation, you know? Let's, let's stop warring amongst each other. And these types of you know, hit pieces don't build bridges. So, there you go.